Hi, dear student. We will discuss the 8051 timers and counters which can be used as timers to generate a time delay and a counters to count events it happening outside the microcontroller. So, as we know that 8051 has the two timers it has timer 0 and timer 1 these timers are 16 bit wide each acts as 8 bit register So we can use as TH, it is for higher bit and TL, it is for lower bit. So this can be 8 bit as well as 8 bit. So timer low, it is a lower 8 bit register and timer high, it is a higher 8 bit register. Totally it is 16 bit register. So let me see the counters. See the counter as we know that uh, it can be used as a timer to generate a time delay. Remember it is used to generate time delay. So as we done in the previous classes how to generate the time delay and calculate it by using your crystal frequency as well as your uh, machine cycles taken by the each instruction how we can calculate the delay with the sum of seconds instead we can generate the same way to delay uh, by using your counters Okay, so as usual, counters in the sense obviously it is counts uh, the values from let's say it is 16 bit, it is taken as 0, 0, 2, F, 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 F. It is counts start from 0, 0, 2, F, F, F because each are 16 bit count register. Each are 16 bit count use count register because as we know the special function register that is what SFR we called about all are the 16 bit register so here we should know that counter reach the maximum value that is FFFF then it rolls over it is rolls over to 0, 0, 0. So whenever it is reached to maximum FFFF then the flag which is identified as overflow overflow flag. This condition it says that your count has reached to the maximum level. So that that will be set to 1 okay so counter start from 0, 0, 0 to FFFF when your count reaches to the maximum level then it identifies your overflow flag as set to 1 see the counts rolls over from maximum count to 0, 0 remember this condition we call it as rolls over condition. It means that reach to maximums to the comes to minimum. Okay. So then the corresponding timer flag. So remember the corresponding timer flag. That is 
टेक ऑन टाइमर कंट्रोल फ्लैग दैट इज व्हाट वी कॉल्ड एज अ टेक ऑन इज सेट टू वन ओके एज वी सेड इट इज ओवरफ्लो दैट ओवरफ्लो अकर एज अ सेट हियर इन द टाइमर एज वेन एवर इट इज रीच टू द मैक्सिमम लेवल एंड कम्स टू जीरो जीरो देन टेक ऑन फ्लैग दैट इज इज सेट टू वन now we will see that in timers has a two special function registers has two special function register that is sfr that is what we call dash t mode timer mode and we have t con so this is we called as timer mode and this is we called as timer control register so these registers are 8 bit register these registers are 8 bit register okay let me see that what is a timer mode register and tcom register so first we'll comes to the t mode register see all our sfr registers it or it all or direct addressable register uh, as we know that in the previous classes all the in ram area that is where we started from the uh, one after 128 bytes the all sfr register stored in your ram so those are it is directly addressable they have the addresses so likewise we have the t mode register timer mode this is an 8 bit register it is direct address is 88h we can address directly through the 88h let me see that it is timer mode how we can set the timers 0 or timer 1 with the mode configuration that will be tells by your t mode register we need to configure our timer with the mode of operation so that how we can configure the timer mode this is as we know now as we know that it has 8 bit register so in 8 bit register we'll see that each bit how it is configured okay so this is your d7 that is what we called as a gate and we have the counter or timer bar bit and this is your mode configuration with m1 and m0 similarly we have one more gate and similarly c counter or timer and this is your as well mode 1 and mode 0 this is your t mode register remember this is for timer 0 and this is for timer 1 once you want to configure the timer 0 we can use t mode with this bit d0 d1 2 3 these three bit and 4 5 6 and 7 or for timer 1 so let me see that uh, how this will be configured with all the bits first we'll go with uh, gate if this is one 
it indicates that start the counter it indicates that start the counter if this is zero stopping the counter once you make use of timer 0 you make you want to make this is 1 then we can say that timer 0 has started okay if you want to make this bit as 1 that that indicates that timer 1 has started so take a note here so what means that start or stop the counter into method whatever the timer we can starting or stopping with two method one is hardware method like use the interrupt or reset okay like if you want to be start the counter or stop the counter we can use one as an interrupt as we discussed in the previous class that is uh, where ISR has written in the ROM area that is for the timer 0 or timer 1 then uh, there we written the program to stop or the start the timer so that we can call the interrupt and we can do the start or stop the interrupt or we can use just use the reset button press the reset button then it will automatically stop or respective to the how you use the counter uh, timer 1 or timer 0 that will be start or stopping the second method is software method so here we are using programming so this is what we doing in our syllabus so we can write the program to start the counter or stop the counter so here we have the two methods next we have the another one is c bar t bar bit if this is equal to zero if this is equal to zero acts as a timer to generate delay this you should remember this is very important concept when this is equal to 0 0 indicates that T bar has enabled so that it acts as timer to generate delay you want to use the timer 0 then you make this bit has to be 0 then timer 0 generates the delay ok if you make this as to be 1 ok it acts as a counter so when C it will be 1 so this will be 1 then it timer 0 acts as a counter clear so now we will see the mode of your timer and the counter so in the examination probably the question will ask like uh, your mode of operation timer mode of operation okay let me see that we have a bit is m1 m0 we'll say that what is the mode First, we will make this as both are 0, 0 that we call it as a mode 0. So, mode 0 in this sense it is 13 bit timer mode. When it is 0, 1, it is a mode 1, it is a 16 bit timer mode. So this is probably we are using always because it's the highest bit uh, timer. So this is the one we are using. Next we have one zero that is a mode two. 
this is we are using 8 bit time or more okay and one one it is a mode 3 it is we are using split timer mode split timer mode okay so in the examination probably they are asking the explain explain the timers with the mode 0 or the mode 1 or mode 2 or mode 3 see we will see that uh, each individual mode how we can work on this now this is very important concept what we learning on that okay so first we will go with uh, each mode mode 1 mode 2 mode 3 or mode 4 so then we can understand easily okay see this is the concept what we learn that just I uh, representing in the slideshow see we are going to discussing the timer or the counter see in the 8051 microcontroller has the oscillator with the generating of 12 oscillation <coughs> that generates your total number of oscillation so as we know that c bar t bar bit if it is equal to 0 it acts as a timer okay so in that t mode control this is the bit that should be 0 okay that time whatever we have the uh, timer bits timer low and timer h uh, that is totally 16 bit it will be generated and this is your timer it is generated okay next we have the uh, timer flag that should be one when your timer has reaches to the maximum level so we'll later we'll discuss about the tcon timer control bit in that we have the uh, tf0 and tf1 timer flag 1 and timer flag 0 okay when c bar t complement that will be equal to 1 it acts as a counter so that time your direct timer pin it is connected to your timer no need of oscillations there because once the uh, counter has started from the initial value and then your timer registers we can use the as a counter so at that time we are using the timer control registers or tr timer register tr0 and tr1 so that time we are using the gate so as we told that uh, gate it is start the timer or stop the uh, sorry counter so because once we are using as a counter that time only the gate pin will be working so whenever as well we come to know the uh, start the timer or the stop the timer we are using the interrupt okay so hardwarely we can stop or start the pin so once the timer register timer has uh, uh, started with respect to your gate input when the gate has uh, 0 or 1 with respect to start or stop with your timer register okay and then your interrupt pin we are used to uh, stop the timer okay so that is the whole process of your timer or the counter of internal structure of your 8051 this is how the operation is happening with respect to your timer mode register then we can see that we have the timer mode register gate as uh, what we learned about that is the address with the 89h direct address gate if the when is set timer or the counter is enabled if uh, uh, the pin is high or zero okay next when it is clear 
your uh, whatever your or uh, stop the counter that is uh, timer register bit as set as high then similarly comes to the C counter or timer bit when this is uh, 1 then your counter operation has started and if this is clear if that is clear in the sense it should be started the timer ok next we have the mode operations then timer mode remember these are not bit addressable register so with that 0 0 as we told that it is an 8 bit timer register both are 0 0 it is 8 bit timer TLX server as 5 bit prescalar that is totally it is 8 plus 5 13 bit timer mode and uh, 0 1 it is a mode 1 operation it is used as your 16 bit timer or the counter both are cascaded no prescalar remember in the first mode 0 it is an 8 bit timer that is where we are using the low timer low register and other 5 bits that is a higher bit that is th that will be prescaled ok already it is set the 5 bits totally it is 13 bit will comes to the explanation there we are going to be understanding that next we have the 1 0 that is uh, mode 2 operation mode 2 as we know that it is totally is in 8 bit so here we are using fully as timer low register TL0 it is controlled by timer 0 control bit ok TH0 is an 8 bit timer controlled by timer 1 control bit remember here we are using the timer 0 as an 8 bit counter that will be controlled by your timer 1 control bit that is a 8 bit timer both are 1 1 that is a mode 3 as we told it is a split timer mode ok probably it is used one timer 1 here we aft only timer 0 we are using to split timer mode ok so this is what we discussed in the uh, concept of timer mode uh, next we learned about in the TCON register timer control register thank you very much